What is happening here? Um, hmm. Is that just like a bowl of whipped cream? I feel like we just walked in on something very inappropriate that we weren't supposed to be seeing. Shake up a martini, pull up a chair, and let's go thrifting. This is Mid-Century Wasting. and welcome back to Mid-Century Wasted. I'm Jamie and this is Sundays at Sears where every Sunday I premiere a video at noon Pacific flipping through 50 more pages of the 1968 Sears Christmas wish book Christmas catalog. This is part six meaning that by the end of this video we're gonna be halfway done. We're halfway there. And that also means, not to freak anyone out, but that also means that from the time I started this series until Christmas, we're halfway at that halfway point. Meaning uh, it's gonna be Christmas in like six weeks. <laughs> well, get to shopping people, that's all I have to say. <laughs> um, for now, let's just enjoy our lives for the next you know, 30 or 40 minutes and flip through some more pages, shall we? We stopped last week right about here on page 251 and we were in some really cutesy Winnie the Pooh uh, bedding and toys. And you know, there was a lot of kids stuff. There was a lot of jewelry last time, kids clothing. So not really sure where we're going from here but let's find out. Okay, we got some really cute, snuggly looking babes. Babies, beautiful gifts for baby, beautifully gift boxed. And there's a picture right there, the gift box that would come with these cute little baby outfits. Again, when I see stuff like that, I just want to find one like unopened, you know what I mean? Look at that with the cute little football. If I, I would just, be so thrilled if I found a little box still all put together like that with the little football and everything. These are some really cute little Christmassy outfits. Oh, that's got a one on the football. I bet that was like for a one-year-old, like a first birthday kind of gift. For a second there, I thought that was the Canadian <laughs> maple leaf on his, uh, <laughs> on his shirt, but I believe it's a Scotty dog. Well, wait, what is that really? E, Santa's helper sleep and play set with pixie nightcap. Comfortable stretch. It does not say, it says pom-poms at the toes. Gripper fasteners, I don't know. It doesn't really say what that symbol is. All uh, right, there's some clown jammies. Comes with a little clown. Look at that contraption. Now that really looks like a baby burrito at that point. And a little blankie, blankie sets, the scary pin for the diapers because everybody had to pin the diaper to the baby not to the baby but you know what i mean <laughs> newborn home from the hospital set that's what that was oh my newborns were so large they pretty much did not fit into newborn clothes like the second that they were born they were they were just very hefty large beastly children. So now we've got some good old fashioned cowboy boots. Boot roundup for little boys and big boys. Those are pretty snazzy. Digging the red ones. Like, um, what was that TV show where you had the red cowboy boots? How I Met Your Mother? That TV show seems like a lifetime ago now. And little children and tots cowboy boots. Those are darling. Roy Rogers, look at that. Roy Rogers boots. Roy Rogers and his horse in action decorate the lustrous split leather upper. Lined leg for comfort. I love that. Oh, okay. More kids clothes. Okay, so this is too funny because it says nostalgic frillery. That is not an easy word to say. And this is like, what, Victorian? Yeah. Velveteen lace whipped up with Victorian airs. So they were doing like a 
Victorian throwback thing and calling it nostalgic. But it's funny because I know for a lot of people watching this video right now, this 1968 catalog is super nostalgic in and of itself. So that's really funny. And it, I mean, it's also funny because, you know, every, every style, they always say it, it's going to come back at some point. Not that this was exactly the kind of stuff that they wore in the Victorian era, but it's got the, you know, they're doing the throwback kind of like a nod to the Victorian ruffles and velveteen, you know, so what is that? Velveteen hat and bag. So it's just, it's just funny because, you know, styles always kind of cycle back around the little cameo brooch at the neck and the lace. So let's go back to this hat real quick. Velveteen hat and bag set. Black cotton velveteen beret is elasticized at back, one size fits all, matching bag. Okay, got it. I didn't know if those were two different things or if the hat turned into a bag. You know what I mean? And also that hat very much looks... Um, well, I'm not gonna say photoshopped because they didn't have Photoshop at that time, but it looks cut and paste on to the graphic. I do not think that little girl was actually wearing that hat in that picture. <laughs> Let's see this page. Party bound knits. Yikes. I don't know about that pink frilly number, you guys. And her hair's like, she's looking at her hair being like, really? Thank God they didn't do that to me. Thank God. She's got a cute little dress on too. I like that dress with the little flowers on it. And look, she's got the fishnet, fishnet tights on. We were talking about that in the last video. Yeah, I guess this is kind of like a Victorian throwback kind of style here. That's really kind of funny. Wear dated. These acrylic, acrylic dresses are guaranteed to give normal wear to your satisfaction for one full year or return for free replacement or refund. Interesting. That's a lot of pink. This is far too much pink for me. Goodness. Favorite Santas think pink. Girls sizes. Favorite Santas think pink. I don't really get that, but okay. Is this all the same girl? Oh, it sure is. Yep, it's all the same girl. Nice shoes, horrible pants. Oh man, frillies. Yeah, this is just too, a little too sickeningly sweet for me. There's more of those patent leather painful shoes. And then this page is all reds and whites. Holiday knits. Sears best. There's hats. Cute knits. Knee high socks. Those were $1.50. Pullover sweaters, $9, $9. Double knit pants. Geez, even the pants were knit. I don't know about that, but okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not, It's this page isn't as bad as this page in my opinion. <laughs> Still not great. Candy color wear togethers. So pink, blue, pink, blue. Girl sizes again. This is one of those kind of mix and match deals again here where it's like buy one of each and then you have eight different outfits, but you're always wearing pink and blue every single day. So why would you really want to do that? Very 50s, 60s pastel colors. I wonder if this would have been kind of like outdated at this time, because I, I think of pinks and baby blues as being much more of a 50s kind of color combination. So I wonder if this was kind of not as cool because I know that there is probably a lot of like not as cool stuff in this catalog. Here's some hooded, puffy, quilted jackets and more just really horrible pants. What are those? Nine nylon knit pants or water repellent and fleece inside for extra warmth. Well, at least they would be soft on the skin if there's fleece in there, but ugh, they still just look like not comfortable. What is that word? Bou boucle? Boucle knits? Bouchle? I don't know that word. Yummy pastel separates of acrylic, acrylic with softness that stays shape that lasts. That's what those things are made out of. Can they have just not one thing that's cotton? Were they just wholeheartedly against cotton? 
What is, what was that cotton slogan? Like the look, the feel of cotton, the fabric of our lives. <laughs> when did that start happening? Because when that slogan hit, I think people were kind of like, oh yeah, cotton. Right. Remember when fabric felt good? Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. We should bring cotton back. It's just that whole not ironing thing was just, whoa. That's a fun page. Hang on, let me zoom back out on that one. That's a fun page. I like that. I like all the angles. Holiday stretch mix-ups. So again, I think the idea of all these was they would all go together, theoretically. But, I mean, really, does it though? Here's some colors. I mean, I guess they're all just such bold colors. And the prints are so wild, it's got every color in it anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry. The look on her face just goes so perfectly with this outfit. Like, <laughs> a little, little skeptical. A little skeptical of what they're making her wear here. Those pants are just something else. I just can't get over it. I don't know if those pants are worse or if this shirt is worse. I think I gotta vote for the shirt. The pants, I don't know. It's got kind of like a 90s punk thing going on that I can get behind. But this shirt just has no redeeming qualities whatsoever at all. Sorry. All right, so now we've got young fellas blazers. Again, can't imagine dressing my teen in a blazer for any reason, truly. Oh, look at how much fun they're having at this party. She's about to pop that balloon and everyone, truly everyone, just thinks that's just the most funny, humorous, lighthearted, just, carefree. Look at these whippersnappers. Just having a good old time popping balloons at a party. Not a bottle of beer or a, a sprig of marijuana between them. <laughs> good wholesome fun popping balloons at this party. What's happening on this side? Oh, uh-oh. That looks like a cigarette holding position. Did they take a cigarette out of his hand or is he snapping his fingers? This might be the bad kids on this side of the party. These are the good kids just popping balloons to get their jollies. But these kids, they're either snapping along to the music or uh, I don't know. And he, oh, he's got a cup in his hand. Did that have punch or did that have alcohol? Stay away from the reefer kids. Just keep popping those balloons. Be good. We've got some coats that almost looks like a members only jacket, but I think those were not yet a thing, right? Someone's gonna have to correct me on that one. Weren't members only jackets like a little bit later, like 80s? I might be wrong, but oh, we've got some pile lined vinyl jackets, look like leather. There's some look like leather jackets, not real leather, but look like leather, sorta, with some fake fur inside there too. Well, they look warm. I guess that's all you can hope for. Students sizes, 14 to 24. Boys sizes, students sizes. So, huh? What the heck is a student size? I don't think we call it that anymore. Letter perfect. Some letterman jackets. Interesting. Wear your school spirit proudly this winter. So you would buy your letterman jacket at Sears? Um, all right. I thought that was kind of like a school issued thing, but Maybe you had to buy it yourself at the department store back then? It's a little confusing. Or maybe people just had multiple jackets with their letter on it. I don't know. And here's some little Letterman sweaters. Way too preppy. Way, way, way too preppy for me. Oh, no. too happy to be there. You shouldn't be that happy, girl. Get out. Run. Run for the car. Leave these men with their tight, tight pants. Ugh, rally back jeans. Those are jeans? I don't know. 
put a pow effect across, don these yoke back jeans in a peppy check for, or a snazzy plaid and step into action. What? 50% cotton, 50% Fortrell polyester. All I know is we shouldn't look too closely in this region. Let's move on. Blazer days are here. No, they're really not. Not anymore, they're not. Oh, these poor children in their horribly ugly outfits, being forced to dress like little gentlemen. They wanna get into trouble. They wanna climb a tree. They wanna throw dirt at each other. They don't wanna be wearing this stupid blazer. Take it off. I wonder what these kids are doing now. I wonder if they are alive. <laughs> bad to say. I wonder if they're alive. I wonder if they're thriving. I wonder if they are regretting the choice to be in the 1968 Sears catalog. I doubt it. I think it would be awesome if you were in there. If you're in this, like, you need a copy of it. That's for sure. Here's some prices. I haven't really been looking at prices much this time, but there you go. That's how much blazers cost back then. More little gentleman clothing, it looks like, or school clothing or whatever they called it school age perma pressed oxford cloth button-ups these look normal these look the patterns don't look very strange well that collar that collars that never kind of collar is quite strange for today but otherwise that's rather normal 397 i'm sure the cut was much different than it is now these kids are all just Having a grand old time. Where are they at? Some sort of sporting event or something? Is this how kids dressed when they went to a football game? Hi, my mom made me wear this sweater. Ignore it. Ooh, what are they drinking? Color carnival. Oh, are they at the carnival? Why are they all lined up if they're at the carnival? Now, does he have like a carnival toy? Is this really supposed to be a, a carnival? It looks like they're in bleachers. Are they watching the pig races or something? Maybe that's what they're doing. 100% acrylic sweaters. 100% acrylic, 100% plastic, sweater drama, high neck knits. Oh, yay! I get to wear my high neck knit today. I'm so excited. Yippee. Yes. High neck knits. Not as excited. Dang it, mom. I hate turtlenecks. I feel like I'm choking. That's how I feel in a turtleneck. I'm not fond of turtlenecks. I don't feel like I'm being strangled. Dickies. Orlon Dicky neck ribbing, dicky neck, sweater drama. Is that that same kid? Is the same kid crossing his arms? That's that kid's only pose. There's some vests. There's a ski sweater. Oh, there's a nice pose. Yeah! Posing in my red sweater and turtleneck combo. I'm styling. Styling at Sears. More sweaters. Uh-oh, what is happening here? Um, hmm. Is that just like a bowl of whipped cream? I feel like we just walked in on something very inappropriate that we weren't supposed to be seeing. Um, I kind of have no words for that. Oh, those, those teens, those teens and their footballs and playbooks and whipped cream. Was this supposed to be college? This is college. Is that what happened? None of that Animal House stuff happened, right? It was just well-dressed, highly sweatered young gents with their footballs and nothing to see here. We're just eating whipped cream out of a paper plate or something. And that look on my face is purely coincidental. Nothing to see here. Moving right along to some winter accessories. Boys wintertime accessories. Mittens and caps. This just reminds me of a uh, Christmas story. Randy getting all wrapped up in his winter clothing. But that's all I have to really compare to because again, I don't have a lot of experience with winter clothing other than when we would go skiing every year. That was a ways away. We never really had to bundle up to go anywhere normally. Let's see, what is this cute little darling Santa chimney deal here? Number seven, what are you? Santa Claus pack handkerchiefs, six in a pack, white cotton, boys size. So those handkerchiefs were all rolled up in that cute little Santa with the chimney. <gasps> I want that. I want to find that box. I love it. Six boys something something handkerchiefs. And it had the little Santa ornament on top. <gasps> I want that. 
And this little clip-on tie pen gift set. What else was in there? Gift set. Fine Italian Rhodia acetate clip-on tie, pocket handkerchief, automatic pencil, ballpoint pen. This gift is the perfect size for ages 6 to 12 years old. And what is the horse? We shall not forget the horse, of course, of course. Grooming kit. Sturdy white plastic stallion holds plastic pack with nail file, nail clippers, comb, and toothbrush. $2.50. I've never seen anything like that before, that's for sure. Nope, oh, we've got one of those medallions. Turtleneck medallion. Antique gold color, three inch crest, decorative stones, 30 inch chain. $3. Belts, big old belt buckle, embossed western belt, little boy's wallets and cufflinks. Again, man wear for your youngin. Never too early to start them being a man, right? Ah, we are almost to the index. So this is gonna speed things up a little bit because we're not gonna add pages or anything. This will just blow through those pages a little bit. But first, we can't skip the suede leather ranch jacket, complete with fringe, rich top quality leather that's tough and long wearing, natty, what? Natty straight from the West suede leather fringe trim. I have no idea what that means. Natty straight from the West suede leather fringe trim. Natty straight from the West. <sighs> oh, come on, Sears. And then again, more cowgirl cowboy outfits because we did not get enough in that other page. Western outfits for young bronc busters, sizes six through 12. Hats, belts. Western belt, $1.50. Wolf felt hat, $2.50. Cowboy gloves, $2.50. Ponderosa shirt, rugged wide whale corduroy. Oi, oi, oi. All right. Now we're into the index, but I see we've got a little, we've got a Dennis the Menace cartoon here. Gee, Dad, if I could read, I'd use this special toy index. Special? You are special, Dennis. Complete index for a wonderful gift selection. Thousands of timely new gift ideas in this book. Thousands more in our big fall book. Oh, so there was big fall books too. There's another cartoon. Mom says there's a special toy index on page 277. Well, that would have been this page, wouldn't it? So that was the toy index. Oh, I see. So this whole top part here, that's toys. That was not like extremely obvious, I guess. Because I see A now starts down here, so maybe that would give it away. But I, they should have written like toy index, like right there, instead of making it part of the cartoon. But you know, that's just me being a graphic designer and nitpicking because that's what I do. And then page 277, Mr. Wilson, that's where the toy index is. Okay, so they're just going to keep pointing it out that way over and over again, I guess. That's fine. Shop by mail, by phone, or in person. Order early for complete selections. So here's all of your, your technical information, how to order. You can count on Sears for service. Sears guarantee, oh, see, I wonder how that has changed from the Sears guarantee that I have to put at the bottom of all of the Sears store closing ads. <laughs> have I mentioned that I do the Sears store closing ads? Have I mentioned that? I'm a graphic designer and I do Sears store closing ads. So that is my extra special connection to this catalog. And look at this, here's all the locations. Telephone numbers of Sears catalog sales offices and retail store catalog sales departments. So it wouldn't be all the locations necessarily then. But look at California. All that is California. I bet this was regional. Because I'm seeing Arizona, California, Nevada, Utah, and Hawaii. Let's see what this page says. Yeah, and that was the end of it. So they must have done sort of just like regional prints of these pages. Very interesting. So if you found one that was delivered somewhere in Ohio or Florida or somewhere else... <laughs> I'm glad those are the only two states I could come up with off the top of my head. Ohio or Florida or anywhere else in the United States. This would probably have different pages. Look at that nice ad. It's easy to shop by phone at Sears. Just call me. Dial the number for your area listed on the facing page. 
There we go. There were the phone numbers. Oh, things were just so simple back then. You would make calls on the phone. You didn't have to Google anything or just click online and have stuff delivered to your house. Ah, here's the financing page. Ooh, not a penny to pay until February 1969 when you buy appliances on Sears Easy Payment Plan, our special Christmas season offer. Choose the Sears plan that fits your needs. Regular Easy Payment Plan, Modernizing Credit Plan. Okay, and look at that. There's a sample credit card. Sears Roebuck & Co. Wow. This is the credit card that makes Christmas shopping easy. Forget about the crowds and bad weather. With a Sears revolving charge account, all you do is pick up a phone, call Sears and say, charge it. It's that simple. Oh my goodness. I had to get my radio voice out for that one. Ooh, I just noticed something. We've got page 286 to page 289. We are missing a page and I see here this was the tear out on this line page so they tore it out oops I just tore that on accident a little bit they tore one out or uh yeah yeah they did I see the little tear page in there they tore a page out and look there's there's writing there's chicken scratch on here I wonder what that was all about Are they adding up how many different types of appliances they could buy. Hopefully that was like an order page and we were not missing any like appliances or anything, but there you go. There's your, your form. I wonder if you filled out this form and mailed it in and if you would get a Sears card. I wonder if they would honor this form. <laughs> that would be kind of funny just to do it, just to see what happens. Never run out of ice again. Selecto Cube Ice Makers. Selecto Cube. Everything had a dash O dash. Isomatic. Selecto Cube. That's kind of nifty though. I like that. It's like as big as a dang dishwasher just for your ice though. That's. But you know, fridges didn't have ice makers in it back then. That's for sure. Oh, look, cold spot countertop automatic ice maker. We have a little ice maker that we have on our counter in our house because our refrigerator is one of those really old ones that does not have an ice maker in it. But ours is about the size of like a small bread box. And this looks like it would be about the size of a television. So, <laughs> or a dishwasher. So technology has advanced. Here's compact refrigerators. I feel like you still sometimes see those with like the wood paneling on the outside and stuff. Every now and then at like a high school, <laughs> like a high school break room, <laughs> you see one of those. Not, not cheap either. Those were not cheap. Ooh, what have we got here? We are in a new category. Only about 10 pages left to go, but we're in some some cool stuff in this one. Oh, the piano. How much was this piano? 1300 buckaroonies. Spin it style player piano with six music rolls. Oh, it was a player piano. Look at that. Interesting. Nice. Real nice. Fancy. And you know I love this. This console with the built-in speakers. I love the feet on it. This was not like the nicest looking one that you could find in this time period. I have seen much better ones. That definitely looks like more of a cheapy version. I wonder what I wonder what the uh, sound was like on that. Blake will be interested in these pages. There's some really modern looking football. Wow, check out that helmet. Absolutely no concussions whatsoever with a helmet like that. That TV was something else there too. Our lowest price ever for any portable color TV of this size. What size was it? 15 inch, what luxury. We got some drums and we got a 10 transistor portable radio for 1050 and the drums were 150 bucks. I wonder if there has been technological advances in drum kits since 1968. I would not know because I know nothing about them, but there you go. These are the first 23 pages devoted to home entertainment products. Oh boy, what fun. Mmm, radios, clock radios. Instant sound, solid state radios with or without clocks. I wish these were not in black and white on this side because I feel like I have seen that radio somewhere before. Let's see, five and six. Does it say anything about color? Beige grill? Hmm. 
ivory silver gold color trim char brown white silver color brim hmm i do love me a clock you should know that about me even clocks like this clock radios i still love me a clock that one's really kind of cool too oh i really just very much like these really like that one i want that one i'm gonna find that these are just fantastic let's go to the color side here whoa that one's kind of cool too look at that What's going on there with those dials? I love the green and the blue. I think that's really neat. Now an AM clock radio that also tunes an FM stereo. Wow, stereo. Wakes you to music. The shape of these, very interesting. There's a little portable one. Portable little boom box for you. <laughs> oh, whoa. What have we got here? Radio in the round. There's a roomy stash away compartment. It even has a mirror in the lid. Outside, it's a giant tuning dial with a clear viewing window for easy station selection. So this whole canister on top would twist and that's where your station number would be. The center band turns the radio on and off and adjusts the volume. Big two and three quarter inch speaker is mounted on this end. Wow. And look at, she's got it slung over her shoulder. They're dancing. Just go-go times anywhere. Portable go-go. The AM portable for the tuned in girl. This is the Flirt. Sears newest sound happening. A solid state AM mini tube that packs a very maxi sound. It also packs your makeup, mad money, keys or whatever in its stash away compartment. 10 transistor chassis speaker, vinyl covering, flower power at its prettiest. Oh, I've never seen anything like that. I'm going to have to like scour eBay now and see if see if those things exist anymore. That's crazy. I'm in love. <laughs> that is too cool. What's here? A little AM pocket portable. More pocket radios. That one's got an interesting fabric on it. AM plus FM. It's really funny to think of anyone actually listening to AM radio. <laughs> For music, anyway. Hear what your neighbors have to say on five continents. <laughs> okay, shortwave portables. Hear what your neighbors have to say. Sounds a little um, eavesdroppy, spy y, but I get what they're saying. But how come you can get South America with a short wave when it's such a long way away, huh? Uh huh. Clever. Or distance powered AM FM portables. Very interesting. Oh, Blake. Oh, Blake. Blake, I found your record players. I found them. Katie, vintage and vinyl. We'll be liking these pages too. Oh, how interesting. Well, Let's see, what does it say? There shall be music wherever you go. Portable stereos, specially balanced for take it with you ease. So these really were meant to be portable, portable record players. With the amount of time Blake spends like balancing and leveling his record player, I can't imagine that these actually would play and sound all that great. But anyway, let's start over here. One, let's see, the tabletop console, 41 inches wide can even be wall mounted. Phono AM FM stereo radio phonograph only. This mini style takes full size records yet it weighs only eight pounds. He calls it hi-fi cause he keeps it up there where I can't reach it. Ha 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 ha. Number three, our finest and most powerful portable. Two extra big swing out speaker enclosures are removable up to eight feet. Four inch tweeter and five and three quarters inch bass speaker, specially treated for a deeper, true range of response. To assure continued high performance, the circuitry is solid state and integrated. I don't know what any of this means, but maybe record people do. Separate volume balance, bass and treble controls, plays all records, stereo or monaural, any size or speed, automatically or manually, big 11 inch weighted turntable, three gram tone arm, diamond needle, drop down changer tray, 45 RPM adapter, automatic shut off. I'm not gonna read that for all of these. I'm sorry, Blake, if you wanna look through this later, you can look through these pages on your own. So those have little like flip downs. See, it was like a little case and you could just like flip it down. Can't say that I've really seen those, but they're kind of cool looking. They probably kind of suck. 
let's be honest, they probably don't sound great. Those little speakers were probably not wonderful, but for a party, which is what they're kind of advertising it as being, party time record player, I bet it worked just perfectly fine. Oh boy, what is this? New Music Cubes, the stereo phonograph that fits in anywhere. 360 degrees of stereo sound from a big eight inch speaker in each cube, specially engineered to project sound in all directions. One cube houses the phonograph, the other a record cabinet. What? <laughs> I'm so confused. So one was the record player, one was the speaker, and you could put a drink on top of it? That doesn't sound like a really good idea. Hassock style table styling so you can convert to end tables just by removing the vinyl cushion tops. I see, I see. And you would sit there in your chair in between them. Um, I think that idea was probably a little short lived because it probably didn't sound great. <laughs> Moving on to some very odd telephones. Just very random too, randomly placed in this catalog. Modernized versions of Continental cradle phones, an elegant way to say hello, stunning contessa, ornate classique. Turn on your teenager with a mod style phone that has a nameplate to make it really her own. That's mod style? That doesn't look very mod style to me, but I guess it was. Oh, we're almost done here, you guys. So Christmas comes in these exciting musical packages from Columbia Records. 77 of today's greatest hits by the biggest names in show business, all in one great 7LP stereo record set. This is like the now you call music, what were those, like the 80s, 90s, so now this is music. <laughs> what were those CDs that were like infomercial CDs? Now this is music, volume 972. Look at some of these songs on here. Ray Conniff, Andre Previn, Bobby Hackett. Uh, I don't recognize. I left my heart in San Francisco. Okay, Mac the Knife. I, I see that. I, I know those songs. Norman Luboff, Percy Faith. I don't know these people. I apologize if you do. 56 Holiday Favorites. That's probably fun. A Treasury of Christmas with a treasure box on the front with some really cool ornaments sticking out. Oh my gosh, I almost totally missed that. Look at those ornaments. Yes, I want those. Now I want this record just for the cover with those cool ornaments on it. Some of the stars in their songs. Andy Williams. All right. Frankie Lane, Patty Page, Doris Day, Johnny Cash. This is better. I want this one. Blake, find that record set. It was four LPs. I know you can do it. Let's get that for Christmas. All right, last page for today. Oh, we're ending with electric guitars. What an ending. And look, you could be a Beatle. You could. You could be Ringo himself. If you just buy this drum kit, seven piece drum set plus hi-hat. Is that the hi-hat right there? I don't know anything about music. Violin shaped hollow body electric bass guitar. Violin shaped, weird, strange. Don't know about that. Here's all the drum stuff for drum people. I don't know anything about this stuff, but maybe you do. There's some bongos. I can recognize bongos and what, some maracas, right? Bongos and maracas and tambourine. I know what a tambourine is. Microphone, complete with carrying cases. Solid state guitar amp. And then over here, are you gonna learn to play it at your age? Oh, Blake, that's for you. Cause Blake says he wants to learn how to play bass guitar. And this is basically how I responded to that. <laughs> like, really? Is that gonna be your midlife crisis um, activity? I mean, it could be worse. So if that is his midlife crisis activity, then I'm all for it. Well, and then there's the guitars. Sears guitars, electric guitar or amp. They're, they're cool looking. They look like Buddy Holly kind of guitars, but I'm sure that was a certain kind of guitar. It wasn't just a Sears guitar. Sears brand guitar. There's all the prices and stuff. I don't know about this at all. Other than, hey, cool. There's some electric guitars. <laughs> But I, I wonder how those compare with, you know, guitar prices now and, and such. I mean, I know that's not cheap compared to other stuff that's in this catalog. Those, those still were not cheap. So very interesting. All right, that's it. 
for today. We are done for today. I'm so tempted to keep turning, but I'm not. We have to wait till next week. So thanks everyone for joining me. If you join me in the chat, I really appreciate it. I'm sure we had so much fun chit-chatting about all this stuff. If you're watching on the replay, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of today's content in the wish book. And look at this. We're officially halfway through, meaning we're halfway to Christmas, everyone. <laughs> all right. Bye for now. See you next week.